Hi, good morning. It's a beautiful day already, and I'm um, kind of very excited to start today. Um, <laughs> this is one of those moments where there are lots of positivity, and it kind of conquers every single negative energy in you that you want to talk right now, but you're on all smiles. Okay, so let's get to the business of the day. So I would want to thank everyone who gives me suggestions. I posted a video, I think that was over the weekend, about a kind of office design, you know, that would have a wood with the um, company logo carved on the wall, you know, something like that. And I got a lot of suggestions. And one person, Ayo, suggested, you know, this agency to me here in Abuja. So I've assigned one of my staff to go check out the um, agency and have them do some calculations and, you know, install the necessary. So it's quite um, helpful. So, I mean, this is one of the biggest reasons why you should sometimes speak up because suggestions and, you know, updates are things you could just get from people you don't even expect to get it from. Okay, my my plan today, I already have another meeting. I'm stepping out for another meeting now. I want to see someone briefly, then come back and walk. Um, I want to spend the better part of today assigning tax to people and planning what I expect of them. So I want to, you know, because I couldn't really do much yesterday. I want to sit down now and say, okay, fine, I'm supposed to do this one. So uh, we're supposed to achieve this rather. So you, you handle this, you, you handle this. The real entrepreneurship, it's not working your day, working your ass off all the time stressing yourself and all that real entrepreneurship is basically knowing how to manage people to do those tasks so this simply means anything that you know it's to be done whatever needs to be done you know knowing how to be able to look for the best people to handle those things and you know let them do it that's real entrepreneurship look at every billionaire every big businessman they don't really go to the work bar they go to work to work and stress themselves no they go there to manage people and assign people Elon Musk is good because he knows how to hire the best mind. Warren Buffett is good because he knows how to hire, you know, people who would be able to come up with creative things. You know, people think you need to be very smart for you to be a billionaire, for you to make it, or for you to be, you know, way good. No, you just need to know how to work with, you know, the best minds, the best people, no matter how good you are. Without a good structure and management, you would fall. If you like get good voice, if you know they good record label, you don't your own don't go. If you like Sabi sing very well, but you know good go good producer, you go give you good beats, you know, a it and word, you go you go fail. If you like sing well but uh, Sabi sing but you know Sabi write lyrics, you just get good voice, you will make it. So you see that if you can go and look for a good songwriter, a good producer, a good management, and a good record label, immediately a superstar. So you get to see that the best of everything is what you should be trying to work with. You as a person is good, but you can't actually achieve so, so much. There's a um, limitation to what you can do as a human being. So the best thing to do is to look for the best people. So I have a very good software head of software and also have a very good ui like i'm basically learning how to build up a team like a very good team right two things two, two principles i learned this year learn how to build a very big um team good team right it doesn't necessarily have to be big but let it be good and then learn how to put your customers first so if you can put your customers first you know put them as a priority their satisfaction you know uh the, they, they get value for what they're paying for and then you can also you know hire the best of team to make this work i mean you would achieve anything now it's actually because no matter how good your dream is if you don't have the best of people around you it's bound to fail the major reason why someone like me and someone like you probably hasn't achieved a whole lot sometimes is because we're very close to negative people people who don't add any value to our life people who don't advise us people who don't want to support us people who are just there you know pretending to like us when they don't now imagine you had friends who can support you financially maybe one will come and give you money and think but take this so, so, so million and that one comes up and say ah okay you're good in this thing you know? then they give you business advice and that one comes in and say ah okay my father has a plans that downstairs is free let me give it a down floor my God. now imagine you have friends who can constantly help you it's not a meet it's possible it's you that will pick the people you picked are they not your friend so why can't you also go and pick reasonable people you're picking people that will make you happy no 
pick people that would help you get to your target. So instead of saying, ah, this person is a bit uh, gist, it's a bit make me laugh. Mm -mm. It shouldn't be who can make you laugh. It should be, ah, this one's a bit give me advice based on this particular thing. Me, I have friends for different things. You know? I have the one for violence, who's a bit make trouble. I have the one for calmness. I have the one for strategies. I have the one for coding. I have the one for lifestyle. If I feel like I want to have fun, I want to club. You know, I have different people who are good at different things. So when you see me on those different departments, you think I'm good. Ah, this guy has he, he's good here. Mm -mm. I just have people who advise me and help me order my step. All the mistakes I would have made if I had done those things myself, they won't let me make it because they know more. It's just like I'm a good software programmer now. If you have me as your friend and you want to do something related to software, I'll be able to give you good advice to help you make better decisions regarding software. If you now have somebody who is good in marketing, they will give you good advice regarding marketing. So with all these good advices, we cannot come together and create a very beautiful, awesome product, right? Now everything becomes easy. You know, you have a good software uh, advisor, a good, you know, uh, marketer, you know. Now, if you just have an idea and all the people you have around there, people who make you laugh, who just, you know, who give you some kind of phone that is unrelated to your improvement and your benefits they will laugh with you will laugh at your dream as well and you all of you will laugh since when i said you laugh very well at the end of the world nothing so it's one thing i learned this year so i'm going to actually assign all the things i need to assign right now and tell people what i expect of them go on meetings with them throughout today where i also put my time talking to my customers and see what they expect of me write it down and try to see how i can work towards it so this is the danoke just today 7th of march some of you say i should record these videos and be uploading them as time goes on no I want to be doing it every day so that way it's more of a commitment the moment i start um, creating gist for one week ahead it's it's it, it's not making sense now every day should tell you the experience if i sit here and i start just telling you things days ahead i'm practically just advising you it's not perspire to aspire no i want you to see what each day if each day is like if today is good fine if today is bad fine so you get to learn like now you're learning right now i'm assigning things uh this is a picture side i've not taken my parts so i'm actually just recording right now with the company logo now maybe before today goes down if i'm available i'll be able to tell you what we're able to um, achieve now the funny thing is i'm going to be making it so open when the first um, academy opens i'll post the address okay the new offices we're doing so i'll post the address so you can come there you can see the office i want you to be able to see how i will become the below it's not just come here to tell you i'll become a billionaire yeah? i have learned this one i read this book and uh, okay i'll perspire oh no, no i want you to see that as I'm making this move, you sometimes see the good days and the bad day. So when you start your own, so the day you have bad days, say no. Yes, and then I also had a bad day on the 15th of February. And he also had a bad day on the 18th of January. You know, he had a bad day here, he had a bad day there. But look at him right now, he's a billionaire, he's on the Forbes. So it's easier to see the ups and downs and learn from it. Other than just telling you, perspire. So I'm not, I can't be doing videos ahead of time. Any day you come here to watch my gist, it's a live, undiluted gist made for that day. And I try to make it, even if it's 11.50, I will try and do it, even if it's a three minutes clip and upload it, just so you can get a content for each day. Okay, so that's enough talking. See you all. Let me head back to work. Thank you. This is Anna Kirk.